Hello all and welcome to our 5G RF planning course. I would like to congratulate and thank you for showing interest in this training program. So let's get started and understand what all are we planning to learn in this particular course. So we have decided, divided this course into five chapters wherein in chapter one, we are going to discuss about the introduction of 5G air interface. So some important things that we are going to learn in this chapter are different use cases of 5G, which I'm sure you must be aware from the previous course of ours, which is 5G end-to-end -end essentials. And along with that, we will also learn about some basic functionalities of 5G air interface like numerologies, right? The spectrum on 5G, resource grid and the radio frame structure or radio interface structuring. And also we will learn about the 5G physical channels and signals because they are going to play a very vital role in the 5G RF planning. In chapter two, which is called as 5G link budget, we are discussing about what exactly is a link budget. That means we will discuss about important factors of link budget, its inputs and outputs like MAPL, cell radius, etc. So what all are the inputs of link budget? What all are the outputs of link budget? How a site layout and the number of sites could be calculated from the link budget. We will also discuss about some important 3GPP propagation models. And we will try and identify what all different type of penetration losses are being used, different types of interference margins, shadow fa fading margins, etc. So what all are the considerations of a link budget? That is what we are going to learn in our chapter two. Then we have next chapter called propagation model tuning. So in this chapter, we are trying and understand what all are different cellular propagation models which are available for us, like Okumara Hata, Gauss 231 Hata, and how a deterministic propagation model is different than a semi empirical propagation model and how a model tuning process happens using a CW drive test and what all are the important factors which we need to consider during the CW test and performing the model tuning using that data. So that is chapter three. In chapter four, we will understand 5G coverage simulation concepts. Unfortunately, we will not be able to make use of any uh, tool because of the IPR and because of the non-availability of license. But my focus will be to give you an insight how a propagation uh, modeling tool works. Basically, what all are its basic functionalities? What all will be the inputs that will be given inside the tool? and how a simulations can be created. So using the slide itself and from my previous experience, I am going to give you an insight on how a network planning project is created in a planning tool. What all are the inputs? What all are the actual workflow which will be required for performing the 5G coverage simulation in a planning tool? And then finally, we will discuss about initial parameter planning or PRH planning. And what, so in this chapter, we are trying to explore what exactly is the meaning of PRH and how a PRH planning is done and why PRH planning is so important that it has become a very vital part of the 5G RF planning. So this is what is in the shelf for you. And that is what you are going to learn. So see you soon. Thank you.